Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your September 21st to the 30th, 2019. That's 2019 reading for you today. Taurus, September 21st to the 30th, 2019. Taurus, September 21st to the 30th, 2019. Taurus, hope you guys are doing absolutely wonderfully. It's always a pleasure to be reading for you. Okay, fantastic. That's where the cards fell. So that's where spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, we have the Ten of Wands, crowned by the Queen of Swords, the Chariot, the Sun. Yeah, you guys are on fire. Oh my gosh. The Five of Cups, you're not going to see it at all, which is going to be a shame. Yeah, you're going to be way too much in your own head at times. Queen of Cups, strong Cancer energy. Okay. Ace of Wands, which you are taking with the sun right there. You're walking, there, there's an ending here. You're walking away from something. Taurus, yeah. Nine, Nine of Wands. You're not going to see the blessings that are around you because you're too busy listening to everybody else. Okay, I know that's harsh to say, but that's what I'm seeing here. Don't stop. Change your mind, change your life. Because you can't change anybody else. And you can spend your whole life trying to. You can spend your whole life trying to change a person or give them years upon years of your life saying, I can change this. I can, I can make this better. You can't. You can't. Until they decide to change, nothing you do is going to change them. Nothing. And that might be a very specific message for a very specific Torian who is listening. But that is what spirit is saying loud and very fervently in my own mind. All right. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Taurus, September 21st to the 30th, 2019. Taurus. Karma, yeah, okay. That's making more sense. And friendship. Oh, Taurus. Taurus, you might very well have a karmic debt with somebody. And it has been wearing you down. It has. You've, you've, you've either known them, well, okay, so a karmic debt would mean that you've known them in a past life. And they could be a person who you were really close to, who you just absolutely adored, or it can be a person who just pushed your buttons like no end, okay? There needs to be a sense of friendship, right? Or for some of you, it's leaving behind this karmic debt and it's embracing friendship, it's embracing love, it's embracing understanding, okay? And it's not love... What I love about the word love is that it means so much. It means so much. And it's just such a small, tiny little world, world, word. Yeah, but it's also such a small, tiny little world that we live in. And if we can live in it in love, you're going to see yourself accelerate. But it's not the eros love, which is what we think of when we think of romantic love. And everybody wants it in that, you know, kind of just romantic, can't keep your hands off each other love. And it's not going to be the filia love. Though for some of you, it may very well be focused around the family, focused around what it is that you desire, right? But we're talking about here, and bear with me, we're talking about agape love. We are talking about a love that will, will have your heart singing to other hearts, okay? And the agape love is what Christ told people to live in. Now, whether you are Christian or not, whether this is a mythology or a religion for you, it doesn't matter. What I'm seeing here is embracing an ancient Greek word, okay? It's embracing agape. And it's embracing this true love. And especially for yourself, because you're going to see that once you do, your, your body will stop hurting you. And you will be able to move forward towards a place that you truly want to be within your life and not a place that you thought you were supposed to be. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Taurus, September 21st to the 30th, 2019. Taurus. September 21st to the 30th, 2019, Taurus. Manifestation, and this one right here. Strength. You're manifesting your future, and you are embracing your strength. So we have here manifestation. Turn desire into reality by activating your power of manifestation. Turn what you desire into your reality by activating your power of manifestation, by knowing, seeing, understanding, 
and seeing that it's all within your power. It's all within your reach. Even if it seems like it is going to be insurmountable. Even if it seems like you have to climb up mountains. If you want it bad enough, Taurus, you will go after it. You will go after and manifest the, the dreams that you want, the prosperity that you desire, and the truth that you need within your life. The color that shines through here is green. That's healing and cleansing your heart chakra. Then we have strength. Inner strength is the power within that pushes action into all areas of life. You are strong. You are powerful. And that strength, that perseverance of spirit, that stubbornness of soul is going to move into all aspects of your life to move you forward, to claim your truth. The color that shines through here is orange. That's healing and cleansing the sacral chakra, which is where a lot of negativity from this life and past lives are held. So healing and cleansing that sacral chakra is going to be absolutely beneficial for you, especially during this time. If you can keep a sacral chakra cleanse on at night while you're falling asleep or while you're in the car driving to work or while you're cooking dinner or any time you can have that on, I would highly recommend it. I would highly recommend it. I know it's going to sound funny, but if you guys, well, it's not funny because I, I love them. If you guys have singing bowls, if you just sat quietly, and made your singing bowl sing, okay? Or you just sat quietly with yourself, just focusing on your breathing for five minutes a day. You don't even have to do five minutes because that can be a lot. It could be one minute. You're going to find that it grounds you the way that you need to be grounded. And it helps you, you know, see, see a truth that has been hidden because we have karma. Karma is the universal teacher sending forth lessons from past and present. Karma is with you during these nine days. It just is. And you're not going to like it all the time because karma, well, yeah, quite frankly, can be just not the best companion. But there's also a sense here of, of a change coming into your life, of a shift happening, a power that moves you forward. All right? And it is really going to just be, it's going to be beautiful. And it's not only going to sing to this life, but it's going to sing to past lives that you have been through. Friendship. When individuals with common bonds cross your path, friendship is discovered. There is going to be a sense of deep friendship here. And it can be with people that you hadn't known before, but it can also be people of common bonds, common minds, crossing your path. And it can be people that you already know, family, friends. But the bond of friendship is deepened. That's why I'm talking about that agape love, that true love, that sense of that sense of embracing your soul and yourself. And it can happen for a moment during these nine days, just a fleeting moment that is enough, that is absolutely enough to change your whole entire life or to fill you with this radiant joy that just kind of comes out like the sun from you. Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands, this is your heart right here. You are moving forward, but you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. The Eight of Cups, again, you are moving forward, but you're leaving behind something that you had thought you would love. The moon is going to be guiding you. So what is the moon? The moon to you is going to be a beacon of light. <laughs> that, that sounds really simplifying it. But it is going to be your beacon. That's what I'm meaning here. It is going to be kind of like your North Star. Kind of like if you just keep on following this, you will get to the path that you want. You will get to the place that you want to be. So with the moon card, not the moon card, but with this sense of embracing the moon. Yeah, there is a sense of the moon, the moon card echoing this, okay, facing fears, turning your back on something that you thought was going to be perfect but wound up not being, right, to embrace the future that you desire, to embrace the place that you need to be and you want to be body, mind, and spirit. Is it going to be a hard journey? Yeah. Are you going to feel like Atlas at times with the weight of the world quite literally on your shoulders? Yes, you are. But now it is a time to sit there and say, what can I do with this? How do I use my gifts? And you're going to have a light shine on you that clarifies things like never before. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person might bug the heck out of you, <laughs> quite frankly. Because they're going to, and I'm just laughing because I just see you putting your hands over your ears and you're not wanting to listen to them at all. 
okay? So this person might bug the heck out of you. If this is somebody who is coming into your life or is in your life, you might find air signs, Gemini, Libras, Aquarius is very, very, very annoying. It's actually funny. Just, just what spirit is giving me. And then we have this new dawn, this new day, this new beginning, because through this annoyance, you're going to see something that, that changes the game for you. And it can be that this person is somebody that you actually wind up working closely with, who has ideas, who has a way of looking at things that correlates with yours just a bit, but not too much. You know what I'm saying? So here, I also see you cutting through doubts and fears, knowing your mind, needing your independence, claiming what it is that you desire, claiming where it is that you stand, letting nothing and no one stand in your way. You might be that person, actually, for some of you, you might be that person who other people find annoying, but you're embracing a new dawn and a new day, and you don't care. You don't care if they don't understand. You don't care if they don't see, you know, the beauty behind the madness. This is what you're doing. And God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing you this gift of passion, of creativity, of abundance, right? And it is manifesting within this earthly plane. As you go and you, you take this gift, you take it here with the chariot, you take it here with the sun card, okay? It's also going to steady your, your feet as you're walking forward with the ten of wands. But as you take this gift and you move forward, you're going to find that there's going to be this, this pull on you that wants you to stay back, that wants you to stay away from, from the truth that you want within your life, that is going to kind of make things feel almost like you're walking on tar, just kind of sticking to your feet as you're trying and trying and trying to move forward. The pressure of things can be a bit too much. That's why you need to take that time out. And if you can do so with music, that's going to be very, 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 very good for you. Here, overthinking, doubts, fears, apprehension, chaos. Okay, so just know that as you take this gift, you're going to rein in your emotions, you're going to be gun ho and then it's not going to feel like a gift for too, too long. Okay, we're only talking about nine days here. So there is just a shift that happens that makes you, that makes you question, that makes you question, am I moving forward the right way? You know, is this going to be okay? Am I going to be okay? You are, you are, you're not as stuck as you think you are. Okay, in your head, for some of you, you just feel like you're, you're rooted to one spot and you can't move forward. Here, I can definitely tell you that you will. And you're going to be much more comfortable behind the scenes, being the director, than you are the actor upon the stage. With the Five of Cups, there is a sense of looking at the negative instead of the positive. Of sitting there and looking at the cup spilt and saying, oh my gosh, you know, and it has stained. It looks like blood. You know, you could say it's wine, but it looks like blood. It's going to be something that deeply, has deeply affected you, that has kind of cut you to the bone, and it has spilt onto the ground. But if you turn around, you're going to see the Two of Cups behind you. You're going to see the love. You're going to see the joy. You're going to see the caring. And this is going to help you tune out the rest of the world. Because the rest of the world is just too much. Too much, and you feel as if your head hurts, you feel as if your body aches, you're, you're feeling too much and it's going to manifest itself into physical ailments, okay? That's what's happening. You need to turn, tune out the world and do what's best for you. As you do so, you're going to find that you break the chains that hold you. You're also going to be a lot in your own head, a lot. So you're going to be overthinking things. You're going to want to analyze things absolutely to death. You are going to sit there and question and question and question yourself. Stop. Stop because you're doing no one any good. And you're just going to drive yourself insane. As you stop, as you breathe, as you calm your emotions, you are going to find that a true happiness comes over you. It's not because of anything or anyone. It is just a sense of, wow, I love my life. I am moving forward in a direction that I'm happy with, you know, if not content with, I may not want to be here all the days of my life, but I am, I am happy. I am joyous. I am loving things. There's just this sense of happiness that comes after the chaos, after the questioning, after the overwhelming sense of, oh, I can't do this. You can. And why it's going to be so hard is because it's what your soul has called to for generations. It can be it can be generations of your family. I know this. Yeah, generations of your family where everybody has had a dream. It's not the same dream, but has had a dream. And it can be oddly similar. But they had to give it up. 
because, you know, bills had to be paid and children came along or, you know, medical things happened and they never got, they never got to it. And that can be a lot of your fears, Taurus right here, is that you'll never get to it. It can also be karmic, you know, things that happened in past lives are coming up and you may have never gotten to it. And now you're being told to seize the day, to go after what it is that you want. And the sun card is moving you in passion, is moving you in, in beauty, is saying celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Because the pressure of the world is being lessened. Because you're going to learn how to hear with your heart and not with your ears. And so when people come at you with their pain, with their sorrow, with their anger, you can see it for what it is, pain. It's pain. It's frustration in their own lives. It's wanting to be able to control something. And you, you've had enough of it. You don't want to be controlled. You don't. You're, you're tired of cowdowing to other people. You're tired of not fully being able to express yourself the way that you want to. You're tired of giving yourself up for other people. Now it's time to embrace your dawn and your day because you're healing right here. You have a strong cancer presence. If this is your moon, this is going to be very impactful for you because this is going to be a very emotional time. But also, if you just have cancer in your chart at all, this cancer is going to be shining through, which means you're going to be feeling more emotional. You're going to be very connected with things. This is where your heart is at. You're healing. You are healing. Water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You're calming your emotions. You're embracing your prosperity. You are healing from a negativity that is no longer your truth. And you are moving forward, reigning in your emotions, but going after what it is that you want. Letting nothing and no one stop you. The man is the god of the sea. right? So think of him, quite frankly, as Poseidon. He's the Welsh Poseidon. So you are being, you are being the king of your emotions. You are embracing your truth, your desires, what you want. And you are manifesting movement. Right? Because that's what we have here. We have the horse, the two horses here that pull the chariot, the horse here with the sun card. You have blessings, you have new beginnings coming, and you are walking away from something that is no longer your truth. It has been a way that you have defined yourself for a really long time. A really long time, Taurus. And now it's it's not there anymore. It's not your truth. And here with this air sign energy, who could be saying things that really just tick you off. So be prepared, some of you. Air sign energies, not going to be your greatest allies during these, these nine days. For others of you, the air sign energy is going to be the person who is the catalyst for these new beginnings and is going to be kind of like your best friend, all right? Right here. Sets you free, but you're going to have you're going to have a bit of annoyance with their whimsy, with their, with their air energy, okay? Just kind of all over the place, all right? And if this is manifesting within yourself, where you see this kind of all over the place-ness with you, be kind to you. Be kind to you because it's actually leading you to a place of new beginnings, new greatness, happiness, joy, and understanding. There are just things that have to be overcome. And they have to. Because if you live in the negativity, if you live in the sorrow, you will never move forward to your higher potential. Eight, right here. Eight of cups. Eight of Swords repeating itself. You're being way too serious. You are being way too serious when it comes to your emotions. They can be kind of taking the forefront of things. And when it comes to your mind, you want to work everything out, puzzle everything out. Don't, because it can't be puzzled out. Let yourself know that there is nothing that you are doing wrong. You are moving forward in a truth that is right for you. And you are starting a new day, a new dawn. And that's right at the heart of this whole entire reading. You're putting down the burdens that have weighed you down for so long. And you're saying, you know what, no more. No more and quite frankly, never again. Your subconscious message, the Knight of Cups. Moving forward towards your prosperity. Moving forward in love. Again, strong water sign presence, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Going back to the Cancer, that's very strong here. You're moving forward. You're healing. And you have your armor on. Also, knights protect queens. So you are protecting what you have worked so hard to emotionally understand. You are protecting what you love more than anything else. 
subconsciously, that's why you're making the decisions that you're making right now. It's to, it's to have a way of life that absolutely sings to you. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony always be with you. Bye.